What's going on guys? I just got out to Laga Vista Airport. Gonna go take the Highlander for a bit of a flight. It's been a weird spring. A lot of rain, a lot of clouds, a lot of wind. And, uh, but today looks pretty nice. Wind's actually pretty calm, a little bit of overcast, but uh, no rain. So I'm gonna go try to get a flight in. I know it's been a while since I've done a video, but uh, I've got a lot kind of in the pipeline. Just been a busy spring, had a lot of dif different things going on, but uh, hopefully see you guys soon. So another fun new development is I picked up an Insta360 X4, new 8K 360 camera. So I'm gonna try this thing out today and see how well it does. So I tighten it onto the pole here and then twist this little nut just to make sure it's on tight. All right guys, I got my run up done. Gonna head over here to runway 15 grass. Go hop around a little bit. Alright, oil temperature has warmed up to the green arc. Got another plane taking off. Looks like they have a bit of a crosswind. I'll check that sock on the other side once I get turned. Logo Mr. Traffic, uh, white experimental departing 15 grass, Logo. All right, here we go. And we're off. Like I was saying, it's been a busy last couple of months, uh, six months to be exact. I took the Highlander in for condition inspection back in the end of September. I didn't get it back until November because they had to replace the exhaust. Then there was some issues with uh, the replacement. They're burning a hole in my engine cowling, for example. I'll, uh, I'll do a different video on that, but uh, yeah, I had some issues. Finally got the plane back in December per in time for me to go on my annual ski trips. So I did a bunch of ski trips over winter, so it wasn't in Austin very much, didn't get to fly. And then the spring has just been weird. Lots of rain, lots of wind, a lot of clouds. So it's been tough to get out and fly. I've been out flying every once in a while. And I'll do a couple of videos on that, but uh, it's just been tough to organize and, and uh, you know get videos out the door. So hopefully this is the beginning to uh, several others. It's still pretty windy and gusty today. I thought it had calmed down a little bit, but it's pushing me around quite a bit. Like a strong wind from the south. Oh yeah. Strong wind from the south. My indicated airspeed is 77 miles an hour. And my ground speed is 78 knots. I really do need to remember to clean the windshield also. You're getting a good view out of this camera of my dirty windshield. This wind is just not fun this this spring. Probably going to make it difficult to do some landings. I've only wanted to land right here. And today might be the day. I'd have to label this Spicewood Bend. The Spicewood Airport is right up the hill. fly the approach to that little spot that I was thinking of landing on and see how stable the wind is because man it is dusty up here oh yeah definitely flying into a pretty stiff wind I'm going 70 miles an hour indicated and 54 knots across the ground
Well guys, I finally landed out on a spot that I've been looking at for a long time. It's uh, normally underwater. It's part of Lake Travis, but uh, because Lake Travis is so low, uh, there's just tons of places you can land out here. Um, several of the spots have actually are too overgrown. Um, it's been such a wet spring that it's too overgrown to land, but this one little spot right here is perfect. Perfect little landing. Um, I've always wanted to do it. It's really close to Spicewood Airport actually. But, uh, you know, I've always eyed it as a good spot to land. The uh, lake actually goes about 270 degrees around us right here. And, uh, like I said, I've always wanted to land here, and now I've finally done it. So I think I'm going to call this Spicewood Bend. All right, guys. Here we go. Taking off out of this spot. Been wanting to do for a while. Easy peasy. That was a nice short flight. About to go land on a spot I've been wanting to land on for a long time. And uh, like I said, I've got a bunch of other videos uh, in the works, but just been super busy with work and travel and all kinds of things. But uh, looking forward to get a couple more videos out for you guys. And uh, let me know what else you guys are looking to know about or looking to see. Uh, I'm looking for other ideas. Uh, let me know. I think I'm long overdue for a video on the airplane itself. Uh, just talking about, you know, the airplane, the engine, and all those things. But uh, let me know if you guys uh, want to see something else. Talk to you all soon. See you on the next video.